This is a tangent line problem using implicit differentiation. First, I would like to find the slope y prime, which is dy dx of the given equation. So we have an equation. I would like to differentiate both sides using implicit differentiation. So the, at the end of the day, I will have a y prime, which stands for the slope of this function at any x value. And then I give you a point and then you take this point plug it in, find the slope. So now we have a point, we have a slope, we use these two things to build the tangent line. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, let's differentiate both sides. So we have d dx, and then square bracket, we have x to the third, y to the sixth, minus 4y squared, plus x, and then d dx, negative two. So in case you are wondering, what the points mean so the point one comma one so we have an x coordinate and a y coordinate if you let x equals to one and y equals to one the left hand side is equals to the right hand side so if you plug in x equals to one and y equals to one over there the left hand side equals to the right hand side so let's do the derivative so the first one do you see that there is a x times y inside a square root so that tells me there is a chain rule. So the chain rule, first we bring the one half down and then whatever that is, raised to the negative one half because one half minus one is negative one half and then we differentiate the inside, right? So the inside is x to the third, y to the sixth. So we have to differentiate that by chain rule. So this is chain rule. And then the rest, bring the two down. So this is eight, we have eight y. Uh, am I missing anything? The answer is we are missing a dy dx because this is an implicit differentiation. So the way you do this is you treat y as x. So look, look at this. We are doing a d dx, right? d dx means we are taking x as an independent variable. So that's why you have to treat y as x. So you apply the power rule anyway, bring the two down. Four times two is equals to eight. Two minus one is equals to one. And then right after the eight y, you have to add a dy dx to it. So this means implicit. So if you do this, you are doing implicit differentiation. And then the derivative of x is equals to one. And then the, on the other side of the equal, the derivative of negative two is equals to zero. So now we have the derivative partially done because we still have to take care the chain rule. So continue. So we have one half x to the third, y to the sixth raised to negative one half. And then the derivative of that Oh, look, we are taking the derivative of a product. So that gives me a product rule. So what's the product rule? The product rule is, so product rule is fg prime plus gf prime, right? So fg prime, we copy the f, and then the derivative of y to the sixth, apply the power rule, 6y to the fifth. So since this is a y, we are doing a dx, then we have to use implicit, add a dy dx right after. And then plus for the product rule, and then gf prime, so we have y to the sixth, the derivative of x to the third is 3x squared, no need to write dy dx because this is already with respect to x. And then what else, what else? So we have to write the rest, well, minus 8y, and then dy dx, and then plus one equals to zero. So now the derivative is done. Uh, do you have to isolate dy dx on one side if you want to do so? Go ahead. So if you want to isolate dy dx on one side, so that means you have a dy dx and then equals to a fraction on the other side, right? So but at this in this problem, I am going to say that is not really necessary. Unless the problem asks give you break this down into subproblems. So let's say a part A, find dy dx, then you have to isolate dy dx on one side. In this one, I only ask for the slope. So all you have to do is you have to plug in x equals to one and y equals to one. So let's do that. So let's do this in a different color. So this is x, y. We have x equals to one, y equals to one. Uh, the reason I like one and zero is because after you plug in the ones, everything is easy. So if you pick an x equals to 10, uh, that's fine. But if you plug in x equals to 10, you might have to deal with big numbers. All right, so we have one half. And then x equals to one, y equals to one rate negative one half. And then this will be a one times six, right? And then the dy dx, so for dy dx, sometimes we just write a y prime. So this means a slope. Sometimes 
people write y prime sometimes they write dy dx i highly prefer dy dx so i will just keep my dy dx over there and then plus one times three times one right and then minus a times one and then dy dx we don't know that yet and then plus one that is equals to zero all right so let's see so we have a one half and then we have a six dy dx and then a three outside we have eight dy dx plus one equals to zero and then we distribute the one half so we have a three dy dx and then three over two minus eight dy dx or i should say slope plus one equals to zero and then uh three half plus one is five half right so you toss that to the other side that becomes a negative five half and then you factor out the dy dx you have a three minus eight so that is equals to negative five right so you have a negative five dy dx equals to negative five over two and then all you have to do is you multiply both sides by negative one over five right so let's do this in in uh in a different color so we have to multiply both both sides by negative one over five so we can isolate dy dx on one side all right so back to the business so we have a dy dx equals to the negative got cancelled the phi got cancelled so overall the slope is equals to positive one half so the slope is equals to positive one half and then this is the slope of the tangent line at the given point one comma one so what is uh what what does that mean using a picture so let's say we have a we have a curve i'm not saying that this is the graph of the given function let's say we have a curve and then at a point we are looking for the slope of the parabola of let's say a slope of a curve at this point so first we find dy dx that means the slope of this curve at any x value and then at this specific point we plug it in to the dy dx and then we found that the slope is equal to one half so at this point the slope is equal to one half at this big blue point and then the tangent line means you can build a tangent line like that so this is a tangent line touching the curve at that point so what is the equation of this straight line the equation of this straight line is you have to use the point slope form so let's go go back to the top so we can keep keep the works right over here so you have to use y minus y1 equals to slope times x minus x1 this is called point slope form so x1 y1 we have that so y minus 1 equals to slope slope which is a positive one half right so positive one half right over there I'm glad that they cancel out the negative so we have a positive one half and then x minus one so we have y equals to uh, one half x minus one half plus one so we have y equals to one half x and then a plus one half right so what is this called this is called equation of the tangent line to the function at that point so this is equation of the tangent line to the function or equation or equation at point one comma one which is right over here so this is the straight line all right the equation of the straight line all right so that is the end of this problem and this video if you find my instruction helpful and clear give me a like share the video for me if you are new to the channel click the subscribe button on your way out i will see you all in the next lesson Signing up.